Greetings everybody. This might be a pointless video, not that any of my other videos aren't, but I wanted to talk about how having a commentary or let's play channel has affected my gaming life, also known as no life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let's start with the good things. Well that's about it. Number 1. Since I grew up playing these retro games, I have completed them too many times to count, and so I know everything about them, and that makes it less interesting to replay them. But doing commentary series on them gives me a fresh reason to play them again. It's like when you have a friend over, I'm not speaking from experience here, and you show them one of your favorite games that they've never seen before. You get excited to see their reaction and thoughts about something you love. So for example, in this Super Metroid series I made, I both felt like I was taking a wonderful trip in nostalgia and that I took a friend along for the ride who hasn't experienced it yet. Number 2. When it comes to blind series, also known as first time through, it's a whole other story. You see, I don't do commentary just to entertain people, although I still haven't managed to do that, but also to archive memories. I did the quote sign there, but you probably didn't see it. What I mean about archiving memories is basically like a photo. I can save a point in time which I can listen to later. Since I usually talk about my so-called life and stuff that's happening in the current, it can be interesting to listen to it years from now. It's also fun to capture my raw virgin reactions to crazy shit that uh, some games tend to do. I'm glad I did a blind series on Undertale, since it's one of my favorite games of all time now, and it's great to always have my first time available to revisit. And for Undertale Pro to hate on every mistake I make. That last one isn't that great, so fuck you. Number three. Doing commentary also helps my pussy ass fear of horror games. It also makes it easier to take since I feel less alone, even more so when I stream. Although people tend to get more scared of me streaming than the game itself. Now on to the more negative things. Let me paint you a picture. So I sometimes get the urge to play something. Doesn't matter if it's something I know inside and out or if it's a completely new game. I tend to not play it it because I think, wait, I might as well do commentary on it so I can make content, capture my reactions and enjoy the game at the same time. Because when you have a channel on YouTube, you often feel that you should be making content to stay relevant, please your fans, if any, and whore out some views. Now you might be thinking two things, uh, Crims, you don't always have to record everything you do, or then why not just record it? Why let it stop you from playing games? You're right, it's not that complicated, but what I don't like about myself is that I easily stop myself from recording or doing a stream because I feel that I'm either not good enough, not interesting, or I want to save a series until I'm feeling confident so I can make the series as good as it can be, especially when it comes to a blind series, because you only have one shot. For example, take my blind Undertale series. Before I started it, I knew I was going to like the game, but I was going through some heavy anxiety at the time, so I held it off for four months, hoping to get better, but that didn't happen. So I I just started it either way, and as you can see, it was stale in the beginning, but as the series went on, it became more and more lively, and back to the good old crimps. So in a way, the game helped my anxiety. So all in all, I have a hard time deciding on whenever I should just play a game for fun, for myself, or do commentary. So that's about it. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comments. Uh, like the video if you like it, or dislike it if you don't. That's how it works. Fartface. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.